Hi, welcome to St. Anthony's and St. Aidan's Sixth Form. My name is Mrs. Sanderson and I'm one of the biology teachers that teach the A level course. And the video clip is just designed to give you a little bit of information about studying A level biology. So the course is a two year linear course and that means that your exams will all occur at the end of year 13. The exam board that we study is AQA. Now, for students of St Anthony's and St Aidan's, you study AQA science at GCSE level, but if you were an external student coming into the sixth form, and if you hadn't studied AQA at GCSE, it won't make any difference. You can still study A levels with us. It also includes a practical accreditation certificate, and what that does is it tells universities that you are lab ready, which means you've acquired and developed lots of practical skills over the two years and you can carry out practical work safely and correctly. The entry requirements for the course, you need at least a 6-6 in combined science and for triple science you have to have at least a 6 in biology and a 6 in either chemistry or physics. You also need a grade 6 in maths and that's because the, there is um, a little bit of maths content within the course um, so we do ask for that grade 6 in maths as well. In terms of why pick biology, it might be that it's one of your favourite subjects, of course. It might be that it's your best subject. It might be that you're interested in um, living things or microorganisms or genetics or any of the strands that you've been studying at GCSE. And it might be that you just want to take that a little bit further. You, you, you know, you're curious and you want to know more and you want to develop that, the knowledge that you have. And they're all really good reasons to take biology at A level. It might also be that you've already got a career in mind and you know that you need biology at A level in order to get onto a university course. So in terms of what other A levels should you take, there aren't any predetermined set of A levels that you need to have. Um, we do recommend for those people wanting to study um, science at degree level, we recommend that biology um, is studied with chemistry and maths and that's because the the content of the biology and chemistry there's a bit of crossover and also the maths helps massively with the mathematical demands of the biology and chemistry courses um, so that's quite a, a popular choice of A levels that, that students take but we do have students that take biology with psychology sociology geography English language or English literature there, there isn't any um, rule to tell you which A levels um, that you have to take some of them will blend a little bit better than others and you just need to bear this in mind because again when you take your A-level options it's about keeping doors open for yourself and not uh, you know, shutting any potential uh, career doors or further education doors for yourselves. So in terms of teaching and learning you get five hours per week of teaching lesson time but we would also recommend that you spend five hours of your own independent time consolidating that knowledge. Um, we also strongly encourage revision right from the word go and that's because with a linear course obviously your final exams are in year 13 but there's lots and lots of content in the biology um, A level so it's something that you need to keep on top of and you need to you know you need to be revising regularly. The topics that are studied in biology the ones in blue are the ones that we study in year one, so that, that will be year 12. Um, and the topics studied in um, year 13 or year two are the ones in purple. So there, there is a, a wide range of topics studied. You need to bear in mind that biology isn't just human biology. We've, you know, there's a, a good mix of plants, microorganisms, and all, you know, other, other strands of biology in there. So you just need to bear that in mind. It's not human biology. Um, and in terms of the practical work, the ones in the table, they are the um, required practicals, if you like. They're the ones that require some sort of scientific write up. So you do spend a lot of the practical time developing those skills, um, being able to write scientific reports, being able to analyse data critically, 
um, and developing mathematical skills such as statistical tests. Um, there are other practicals that you would do. Um, class practicals, again, to help um, solidify or consolidate knowledge that you've learned uh, in class. In terms of the exams, there are three papers in Year 13. Papers 1 and 2 look at content from topics 1 to 4 and have practical skills questions in there as well. It's a mix of long and short answers and there's some extended response. And then paper 3 is a more synoptic paper. It could contain questions from all topics and all practicals. Um, and the, the marks available, uh, there's lots of marks available for practical, um, you know, practical type questions. And then there is an essay that you do, it's 25 marks, and that draws together knowledge um, from year one and year two. So in terms of, of taking your A-level biology um, a little bit further, it might be that you want to study a scientific degree at university. Um, and what we would always say to students is that what you need to bear in mind is that a lot of the universities, especially the popular ones, their, their scientific degrees will often ask for A-level grades that are quite high. So if, you, if you're thinking about studying science at degree level, you'll probably need a biology A-level at a grade B or higher for, for a lot of the popular courses at popular universities. And that's because obviously lots of students apply for them. Um, which then pushes up the, the entry requirements for university. There are, of course, degree courses and other career uh, choices that you can make, um, but it's just something to bear in mind. In terms of careers, um, a lot of students just think, you know, medicine, dentistry, veterinary science are the only things you can do with biology, but there, there are many, many more career choices that you can uh, make and follow that don't just involve those three, so things like biomedical sciences, pharmacology, pharmacy, environmental science, forensics, marine biology, zoology, there are lots and lots of careers um, that you can use your A-level biology in, and of course you don't have to go into a career that involves biology just because you study it at A-level, so that could also be a, another choice. So I think that's about it for now. If you have any further questions, if you're a student of St Anthony's or St Aidan's, you can email your biology teachers or speak to them in school. If you're an external student, you can use the enquiries at stanthonysacademy.com to um, ask any further questions and they'll direct your email to a member of the team. So hopefully the video has given you a little bit um, of an insight in A-level biology and good luck with your GCSEs and hopefully we'll see you in September.